All right, shalom. <clears throat> Before I get started, barakati yahawa, barakati yahawa sha, barakati yahawa, barakati yahawa sha, barakati yahawa, barakati yahawa sha, kahala yahawa, bahashem, yahawa sha, bahashem, rechakodash. Secondly, we want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, rule well, and teach well, and who are the truly leaders of Israel today. I also like to give another shout out to the head of the Man of Israel camp, Ak Kazat, who my teacher under down here in Greenville, South Carolina. I also like to give another shout out to you, Shisha Akim, throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing his truth and our sincerity and righteousness in these last days. And I also a quick shout out to you, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causes confusion, coming back to your heritage in these last days. And another quick shout out to you, few Atwas, you sisters out there that's standing in order and doing what y'all need to do in these last days. All right, to y'all, I like to say Shalom. Alright. And um I'm just gonna go over this quick little lesson slacking. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna touch on this lesson. Uh uh cause yesterday, you know, I was uh scrolling on, on Snapchat or whatnot. You know, and um <laughs> I saw the girl, you know, post this, right? She said, Make sure y'all don't have any money on y'all cash apps. Cash app taking money. Lock them cards. Uh you know, she pretty much saying lock them cards. All right, and you see, you see, our people just not want to take, you know, actions, you know, into this. And we've been telling y'all this, man. We've been telling y'all that they's about to get ready to take y'all monies out. These banks is about to close down, right? Cash out about to shut down. Really, you know, when the cash out founder had, you know, when they killed him, because we believe, I believe personally that they killed him, you know. You know, that that was going to, you know, start some shit right there, man. All right, you're going to see a lot of people money getting taken out. Right, you saw that earlier in the year, or if it wasn't this year, it was late last year, right? Late 2020, early 2000. I mean, late 2020. I mean, it's like it late 2022 or early uh, early 2023. You saw something happen with uh, same, the same situation that happened with Bank of America, man. Right, so these banks is about to get to, get ready to close down, whether if y'all want to believe it or not. And as you saw by this, and you see, and a lot of people are starting to post this mess uh, and saying that you know, cash out. You know, it's taking their money, man. Or, or and it was another account where Apple did the same thing. It says lock y'all cars. Apple's gonna take y'all shit. You see, and uh, I'm pretty sure they had the card locked because it said decline. You know, but it shows that Apple was trying to take out money, right? It says they try to take out uh, fifty six dollars right here on the bottom, uh, five dollars in the middle, and the eight dollars up top. You see that? So that's about what. Uh, about what seventy dollars? So they try to take seventy dollars out of their account, man. Right, seventy dollars. Now <laughs> that seventy dollars, they might have to use to pay their bills. And Apple, and then they ain't had that car like Apple done took it. You know, so that's why we telling y'all, man. Y'all better get prepared, man, because y'all finna see something y'all ain't never seen before, man. And we know how Jake is about their money, man. So these banks or cash out just taking their money out of nowhere. These people are gonna show their ass, man. You see, it's gonna be lewdness, man. Uh, you gonna know you gonna see martial law out here, man, cause people gonna be burning down these goddamn banks and all the type of shit, trying to see where their money at, man. Right? It's about to be another Great Depression, but but even worse, man. <laughs> but even fucking worse, man. And we told y'all, man, we've been warning of warning of y'all this of this uh, slacky. We've been warning y'all that this is about to come. Starting with our elders apostles on down to the bitches on down to you know like brown brothers like me, man. <laughs> you know. Um. So the first scripture I'm going to get is in Ezekiel uh, chapter 33 and verse 33. It says, and when this coming to pass, meaning what? These banks closing down, you know, the Karama being uh, mandatory, right? It says, and when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. You see that? I mean, it's going to come, right? Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. That's when they're going to know that a prophet been among them because we been, like I said, we been giving y'all that fucking warning. But guess what? What, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to be like, okay, now nah, I don't believe that. Y'all been saying that it still ain't happen. Look, 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 what's happening now? Y'all, y'all money getting taken out y'all account. It ain't so funny now. It was, it was funny, you know, when we were saying it at first, and it wasn't happening. But now that it's happening, it ain't too damn funny now. You know, and you know, it, we think it's funny now because y'all ain't want to listen to us. Y'all didn't want to take heed into us. So that, that's why I said, man, y'all niggas just gonna have to learn the hard way, man. That that it's as simple as I mean, it's like it. As hard as as hard as hard it is for y'all to believe, y'all just got to find out the hard way, man. You know, and like I said, we just gonna laugh at y'all, man. 
You know, we glad Esau taking y'all money out y'all account because we been telling y'all of y'all this, man. But y'all want to uh, uh, say elf the prophets, right? Y'all want to say the prophets don't know shit. Y'all ain't the true prophets of the Lord. But who, who, who's laughing now? <laughs> Let me read it one more time. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And that goes for our people mostly, for the most part. And also these other heathens. Because they laugh and scoff at us as well and tell us we crazy. You see? So that applies to them as well. You know? And the Lord say, he, what? Let me get it and we'll move on. I believe it's in um, Jeremiah. Yep, Jeremiah 29 and 15. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 15. Because ye have said, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Bashan have raised us up prophets in Babylon. You see that? The Lord raised up prophets in Babylon. But y'all don't think we are the true prophets, man. Y'all don't think the Lord truly sent us. But y'all saying that everything we said been happening. What is that? Prophesying. <laughs> uh, uh, what does the word uh, prophet? Uh, 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 it's like your own. What does the word prophet mean? To say before, right? So, um, let's go to uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What vision? The MOTB, right? That's the main vision, right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. These banks closing down, right? It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it should speak. You see that? And you've seen it, you know, coming to power. You're seeing these banks are starting to close down. These cash outs starting to fuck up. Apple starting to fuck up, right? All this is really just to get y'all, you know, minds prepared for the, you know, the karama, you know, the the the, the, the C-Hip, man. You see? That's all, all this digital stuff. That's all. That was all getting your mind prepared, man. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Everybody thought cash out was just a good, you know, investment or a good thing to have. But no, it was actually to get your mind prepared for that RFID because you're gonna be able to do the same thing. Transfer your money on that karama, and you'll be able to, you know, have that karama in your hand and be able to send money to somebody else. You see? And uh, and not only that, they uh they want you to have that C hip so they can track your every move, you know, how much you're spending, right? Stuff like that, man. So it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it should speak, right? And not lie, yeah, because the Lord said His word that He uh, says is gonna. Uh, matter of fact, let me get some scriptures on that. Um, the word should not be void. <laughs> and the Lord said that He is a man that He should not lie. We can get that as well. And I'm going to read that Habakkuk again so we can get your minds refreshed. All right. So Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, talking about the prophecies. But at the end, it should speak, meaning come to pass, and not lie. Yeah, because like I said, the Lord is a man that he should not lie. It says, God is not a man that he should not lie. Neither the son of man, you see, even Yahweh Shine. That he should repent. Had he said and should he not do it, right? Because the Lord said he was going to do something, right? The Lord said that these things was going to come to pass, right? And should he not do it? Yes, he's going to do it because he said it. It says, or had he spoken and should not be, or have he spoken and should he not make it good, right? So the Lord is a man that he should not lie and that the things that he said, hey, those things he's going to perform, man. Like I said, well, if y'all niggas want to believe it or not, it's, it's still going to happen, man. Right? What well, the scripture saying on uh, Romans, the third chapter, and I believe verse three. Should they unbelief make the uh, word of God without effect, roughly paraphrased? God forbid. You see, it's, it's still going to happen, man. Just because you don't believe don't mean it's not going to happen, man. We believe and we believe that it's going to happen. You see? So let's get this other precept. Um, 
Isaiah 55 and verse 11. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return it to me void. You see, the words that he said that was going to happen in the scriptures, they're not going to return it to him void, meaning not come to pass, man. It says, so shall it not, like it. it shall not return it to me void, but it shall accomplish, meaning be complete, do it. it uh, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall, and it shall prosper and the things where to I sent it. You see that? I mean, it's going to happen, man. If the Lord says something, guess what? It's going to happen, man. It may, hey, uh, matter of fact, it, it, it may uh, take a little minute, but it's going to happen. Uh, let me keep reading. Um, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it should speak and not lie. Do it, Terry. Like I said, this just because it's tearing, no meaning it's not going to come to pass. It's tearing, meaning, you know, it, it, matter of fact, let's get in the blue letter. We know what it means, but meaning uh, take long, pretty much. Uh, have a prolonging, pretty much. Um, have a good two and three. <laughs> and that word, Terry. No, Mawa -ah. Strong's H4102. Maha. Maha. Mahach. Second entry. Mamach. Mamach. All right. And that word, the definition for it is to linger, tear, wait, delay. You see? When you delay for something, you, you, you pretty much, the flight is going to, like, if your flight is delayed, meaning your flight is late, man. It don't Yeah, it may seem like it's taking long, but it's going to come, man. You see? So it says, uh, do it, Terry. Wait for it. The Lord said, wait for it. That's another thing. You got to be patient, man. Right? You got to be patient in this thing. You, you know, as much as we want these prophecies to come to pass, you still got to be patient, man. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that word patient goes into suffering, man. You see? But it says, do it, Terry. It says, do it, Terry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It would not tear. You see that? The Lord said it would surely come. It would not tear no more, man. Meaning prolong. You see? So it's going to happen, man. And y'all niggas uh, starting to see it now. You know, because it's not really tearing anymore. The Lord is starting to, the Lord is starting to uh, have it uh, come to pass, man. Right before your eyes. You see? And we glad it's happening, man. Because we understand that that's the end of Esau kingdom, man. You see? We know that's the, the, the start of Jacob's trouble, pretty much, man. Right? So let's go to... Uh, we'll uh, probably end up with this. Because uh, this is ultimately what they want to do. Right? They want to put a sea hip in your hand, man. Right? Uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he calls it all, both smaller, meaning uh, uh, Esau eating this B system, right? The revived Roman Empire. Right, it says Revelation thirteen to sixteen. It says he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right, so let's deal with this because you got a lot of niggas that think the mark is spiritual or is uh, sin. Right, which how can it be spiritual when he, when they say this is the East, ultimately is the Lord's mark, but it said Esau don't get by this mark. Now we understand Esau not to be a spiritual man, so why would his mark? be spiritual you got to come down to us carnally man right and we understand it's not to be sin why because sin what uh, uh it, the scripture said for all has sin so that means all of us got the mark then so it can't be sin that, that that right there is just stupid man right so we understand it to be you know the 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 the, the sea man the karama the, the potato chip man the chocolate chip you gotta speak it in cold words man all right so it says he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, free and bond, right? Meaning, no matter your status, man. No matter if you a uh, rich, poor, you know, you in the military. No matter if you, you know, broke. No matter your status, man, you gonna receive it, man. Right? It says uh, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right? So another thing, let's deal with. Let's deal with this word mark. Right. That word mark in the blue letter. 
Cause that word goes back in the Greek, karatma, karatma. Oh, there we go. Strong's G, 5480, charagma, charagma. Right, and it says a stamp and imprinted mark. Um, the mark branded upon horses because ultimately, you know, Esau, he don't want to mark you. He wants you to be a part of his property, man. Right? Because right now we belong to the Lord. How about seeing I was shot? But if Esau put that mark in you, you basically belong to Esau now, man. Just like if you got a horse, that's why I said uh, the mark branded upon horses or a cow, you know, for example. Prime example is a cow because they mostly do it. Farmers mostly do it with cows. Uh, you ever go to a farm or anything like that or, you know, or whatnot, you most for most part you'll see uh you know uh cows have the little um a tag or something on their ear bracelet that's that's the uh the owner marking his cow meaning it belongs to him so if esau put that mark in your right hand or any one of your hands or your forehead hey you belong to esau eat them now man you don't belong to your how about she have a shot now you eat them mites and you're the heathen nations y'all could take that mark because you know <laughs> y'all gonna be destroyed regardless man so y'all could just Take it, do whatever y'all want to do, but so, uh, but for uh, for the, for the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, don't take that, man. You know, because if you take that, or you believe yourself to be an Israelite, because you know you might not know, you might look like an Edomite, but you're an Israelite. If you believe, you know, in the scriptures wholeheartedly, and you believe in this truth, you believe in Yahweh Hashem. Hey, don't take it, man. You know. So it says the mark burning up on horses. Like I said, you know, because if you take that thing, you you belong to Esau now, man. It says stains, carved, sculpture, graven work. So when you carve something, cutting it, it's sculpture something. What you doing? You cutting it to something. So that's how we know this is something uh, 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 carnal, man. Literal, man. They're going to actually cut into your skin and put that, you know, that thing in you, man. So it's a physical mark, man. It's not spiritual, man. It's not sin, man. You know, so now that we got that out of the way, we know what that mark is. It says, uh, in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, another thing as well, you got, uh, you had an old video, of Bishop Nate. I believe it was Bishop Nate. Um, if it wasn't him, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say no names, but I'm not gonna say if it, 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 uh, that it was him, but. I'm going to just say, because um, I don't want to bear as false witness, I can't uh, remember at, this, at the moment right now. So I'm going to just say an individual. Um, it was an individual that I saw, and he was like, what if you get it? No, I believe it was Bishop Nate, man. Because if I'm not mistaken, he was like, what if you get it in your butt cheek? But like I said, I'm not going to say if it was him or not. I'm going to just say that individual, right? And if y'all brothers know, y'all could put it in, in the comment box and be like, yes, it was him. But it was an individual that, that said, um, what if you get it in your butt cheek? That, that showing you how simple somebody is. Or it was another individual um, that said, what if you get it in your left hand? Because it didn't say left hand, right? We're going to deal with that. All right, because it says in their right hand or in their forehead. You got to understand, when John, John the Revelator was getting these visions, it was a vision, right? So he was seeing it. You know, he was seeing people go get that, uh, that seal. So if you think about it, why did he keep saying right hand or in the forehead? Why he just why he didn't say left hand or right hand? Because when you look at the world population today, majority of the people are what? Right handed. So when John was getting those revelations, he was saying what? Most of the people getting it in their right hand. So uh, when he was writing it down, he just said right hand because that's was all, that's all he was seeing, man. He he was only seeing mostly people in their right hands getting it because, like I said, most of the population today is right handed. Matter of fact, we can look it up. <laughs> How many? No, I'm put population. That's right handed. You see? Although the percentage varies worldwide in Western countries, right? America, <laughs> 85 to 90% of people are right handed, and 10 to 15%, 10 to 15% of people are left handed. You see that? So, m majority of the world population is right-handed, man. You see? So, when John was getting these revelations, he was seeing mostly people getting in their right hand. 
You see, and uh, let's deal. Let's go to. Uh, I believe that's in. Might be in sixteen if it's not in fourteen. Yeah, well, yeah, we can get it in uh, Revelation fourteen and nine. It says, "And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark.'" And another thing, man. Never mind. Never mind. That was something else. <laughs> And if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hands. See, right there, it didn't necessarily say right or left hand. It just saying his hands. Showing you that it don't matter what hand you get it in, man. If you get it anywhere in your damn body, whether if it's in your private part, your ass, man, you still got it. Stop being fucking simple, man. You know? You still got it. You still brand it, man. But for the most part, it's going to be in your right hand or in your forehead because you got to buy with it, you know. And ain't nobody going to just scan your ass, she, I mean, <laughs> or, you know, your private part. So stop being fucking simple, man. But this is the judgment. If, you know, if you take that thing, it says, verse 10, the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be, uh, you take that scene here, that's your judgment, man. You're going to be missile food, man. And also you're going to be getting uh, zapped down with the laser beams of the chariots, the so-called UFOs, man. So if you take that scene here, man, that's your ass, man. And no, it ain't no repenting. Now you want to see. You can't repent from it, man. And that's the scripture to prove that, man. And I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, I ain't new. Motherfucker, the prophet's out there giving that warning. So look back to Revelation 13, and we'll start at verse 17. It says, and that, and that no man might buy or sell, right? Because when they see here is uh, mandatory, right? And it is going to be mandatory. And if you don't take it, hey, you're going to be off with your head, man. Or the Lord can, you know, uh, uh, so we understand that some, uh, some brothers going to have to be more of this. Mortars for this truth, man. So it says, and that no man might buy and sell, right? Because you ain't gonna be able to buy and sell if you don't got that C up. Because they're gonna get ready to do away with this dollar, man. So people crying about cash app and shit like that. All that shit ain't gonna matter, man. Locking your cards, that shit ain't gonna matter because these banks is gonna close down. You see, you ain't gonna have no choice but to go, you know, and get that C up. Like I said, don't take it, but that's gonna be your only choice. And is you going to uh, uh, take that choice? <laughs> it says that no man might buy and sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? So you ain't going to be able to buy and sell, man. You ain't going to be able to go to no grocery stores and, you know, uh, be like, can I get, uh, you know, get some eggs, milk and shit like that. Juices and shit like waters. You, you ain't going to be able to do that, man. <laughs> Unless you got that seat help, man. All right? It says, verse 18, here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it, for it is the number of a man. His number is 603 square and 6, which is 666. Right? And, uh, and like I said, man, a lot of you niggas going to go down to Egypt for help, man. <laughs> Once y'all see these banks closing down and taking your money. Y'all going to go down. I already know how people going to go down to Egypt for help. But that's going to be to their death, man, at the end of the day, man. But like I said, man, Lord, when this video was edifying. You know, I just want to bring this quick little point out just to show y'all that what we that what that what we've been saying, hey, it's happening, man. You know, you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth, man. Hey, better hearken. <laughs> but anyway, man, Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm closing out. We're giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakudash. Shalom to the next time. Shalom.